we're challenging ourselves constantly to stay ahead of the curve. Be it mobile, be it social, be it physical, they're all one. Life is forever blurred. I grew up in a physical world, and I speak English. The next generation is growing up in a digital world, and they speak social. Whether you're talking with customers or you're talking with employees, you have to do it on a social platform because that's the language they speak. You know, we were one of the first to customize the chatter platform. We call it Burberry Chat. I will tell you, Christopher and I chat to the entire organization once, twice a week. It gives every associate a platform also to talk back to Christopher and I. Most importantly, it has been the greatest uniter of the culture of any platform we've ever put in place. Now that we've worked with Salesforce and we've got this amazing platform in place, what we're starting to do now is really shift it over to the customer experience. Wherever the customer is, as soon as they say something about the Burberry brand, we should be able to hear it. So if you tweet something positive or negative, our teams around the world can pick up on that and can start having dialogue with you in real time. If you're online, you can click to call, you can click to chat. Within 20 seconds, somebody will be in contact with you. That's the ultimate in customer service. That's how we use Buddy Media, Radiant 6, some of the new platforms that Salesforce has been focusing on. I think what fascinates me as I travel around the world is all of the high growth markets around the world are already mobile first. This enables everyone to be so much smarter about everything. Everything we're doing, it has to come through here first. You know, we had a runway show in London. It was a mobile first show. Anyone in the world could feel as if they had a front row seat and experience everything firsthand and some things even before it went down the runway. This is the entry into the brand. How do we evolve that retail experience to be just as rich and just as exciting as that experience? We've opened up what we call the store of the future. And we've got a real loyal brand following. So when they walk into the store and they opt in, the fun really begins. You'll actually feel like you're walking into the website. We'll know what is in their basket online that they've saved, that they love, that they've shared with their Facebook fans. The sales associate will be able to service them so much quicker. We've got a lot of chip-enabled products. They put on a trench coat, they stand in front of the mirror, they'll see where that coat was made and the craftsmanship. And we've got these magical trays, so they take this iconic handbag and video content comes to life showing them how that bag was made. It's the first time that a company is blurring the lines between physical and digital. Society is moving so fast. This is how customers live. They wake up with a device in their hand and life begins. And the onus is on us to change everything we do to keep pace with as fast as society is moving. I think Salesforce understands today that it's customer first. They speak social and everything's coming through this device. That's why I'm very confident that Salesforce is gonna be a big part of helping us achieve our vision um, as we rapidly move forward into the next decade. Please welcome, please welcome the CEO of Burberry, Angela Ahrens. Angela, please welcome Angela Ahrens. Angela, thank you for flying in from London today. We're so, so happy to have you here at Dreamforce. You've been a huge inspiration to us. You opened that door last year for us. You showed us what's possible. You're changing not only retail, but you're changing every industry. Can you give us some insights into the future? And I love that you've got your mobile device in your hands. <laughs> you know, I, and, I, and I don't want to be redundant with what we just said in the video. Your team did a great job putting that together. but. Um, you know, I don't know, for those of you who watched the Olympics coverage and any of you who were in London, we've been testing and again, pushing the boundaries. And so, and, and I think the most important thing is to do it in such a subliminal, intuitive way and to do it in the most visual way possible. Um, I don't think it's a coincidence that Instagram and Facebook and YouTube, right, it's all visual. So we took over the Olympics and if you wanted to know what the weather was, you just went onto the weather app and there were unbelievable pictures of London, all the outdoor. If it rained, those images were rained. If it snowed, they were... So testing the boundaries of, of what a customer experience would be 
and the same thing with the runway show, even this last time. So if you had your device, you walked into the venue, you got an email from Christopher Bailey immediately welcoming you to the show. And, and that's kind of, again, when the fun began. He gave you a social link to click onto so you could sit in the front row and watch everybody entering outside, all the photographers with the celebrities, et cetera, and keep it on during the show, and you could see the looks before they came down the runway. You could click to buy from your mobile device. So, you know, to us, this is the future. This is what we're playing with. This is, we have a watch that we're launching next month, and we've challenged ourselves. It, it must be launched here first. Every, not, not the traditional marketing way, not, but through here, we've challenged the entire teams around the world, how do you do that? And, and I think Regent Street, which, you know, the timing of me being here, all of this for us has literally happened in the last week. So the show, the store just opened a week ago. Now that's the store of the future. That's your model store, what's gonna happen. Now, t tell us what, ha what happens when I walk into the store and I, I pick up a handbag. What, what, what is my personal experience gonna be in that new store? Well, I, I, think it, I think when you first walk in, so you know, you know we're building this whole customer 360 right now, um, which is a little what we talked about on the video. And, and, and again, it's an intuitive experience. The customer is, doesn't want to tell you that they're there. They want you to know that they've arrived. So we are launching this spring, the whole 360 with you, getting all the partners all connected up. So what will happen is when a customer walks in, we will identify you. And then they'll know awesome. everything about you if you just shopped in Hong Kong or Singapore, et cetera. Right now what you get, because that turns on this spring, is you get what we call a fully immersive experience. We've, we've always called our website Burberry World, and we call that store Burberry World Live. There's over 100 high resolution digital screens. Uh, Christopher can actually make the entire store rain at one time, if he'd like, and, and, and unbelievable sound. But what you get is we took RFID chips out of the stock room and actually put them in garments. So if you put a raincoat on, it's got a chip in it, you stand in front of the mirror, you see yourself on one side, you see that coat being made in the factory. Sounds like the Minority other. Report. <laughs> Is that where we're going? <laughs> yeah, honestly, we are. We are. It, you know, it is... We are. It, 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 you know, I have three teams, and they, this device is never out of their hands. And it's interesting, they don't call on it. You know, and they don't wear a watch. The, the behavior has totally changed. And they don't think to do something. They don't think to Google. That's an intuitive response for that generation. So I, I, do, I do totally believe that, that this is changing the world, in, in the mobile devices. And everything physical, everything we do has to be linked up to it. And that is our vision. That is our goal. Well, I also want to thank you. I know that you're making 10% of all of your uh, sales here at uh, San Francisco. Uh, proceeds to the new children's hospital we're building. So thank you also for integrating your, your business. You're a great example of everything in our business, and we're so happy to have you once again for 2012. Angela Ahrens, a great CEO. Thank you so much, Angela. Well, as Angela said, and as we've talked about at this conference, business is social. We've been learning about how to connect with our customers in a whole new way. It's been an epic keynote. We've talked about connecting customers, connecting partners. We've talked about connecting employees. We've connect, talked about connecting products. Our goal was to open a door to the future so that you can look at what the skills and the capabilities are that you need to transform yourself, your organizations, and so that we all can go to a brand new level. Thank you so much. Welcome to Dreamforce 2012. Thank you, everybody.